So Rory, making your first start for London Scottish tomorrow, you looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Came off the bench last week, but it was good to get a start under my belt. Um, how have you found training with the boys? Oh, it's fantastic. The the boys, like, they work hard and they've got a good eth work ethic down here. Uh, the coaching staff also know what they want and how they want it done, mm -hmm. so that's pretty decent. Yeah, you got off the bench last week, so be uh, be good to start at the Athletic Ground tomorrow as well against Yorkshire. No, it was, always, it was always good to get your first start, especially when it's at home and at the home crowd. Uh, last weekend was in the... We weren't proud of the performance that the boys put in, so we've got a lot of uh, wrongs to right, so we're looking forward to doing that. D disappointing defeat to Yorkshire last week, what have we been working on this week to try and put it right? Uh, we've been working on our for well, the forwards have been working on the uh, line drive defence and basically how to sack that and stuff like that, but in the backs we've been working really hard on like our playing shape, on like how we want to play and what kind of direction we want to play and who we want to target. So we've been working hard on that. Mm -hmm. um, so just tell us a bit about yourself, you Glasgow Warriors player, you got one cap for Scotland in the summer um, and then coming down to get some game time with the Scots. Yeah, well, I'm from Glasgow, uh, born and raised. I joined Glasgow Warriors as an academy player back in 2010. Uh, so I just walked through the ranks of that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I, can't, I got called into the World Cup uh, 35, the extended squad for, Gla uh, for the Scotland, which was like unbelievable. I couldn't, like, wasn't expecting it at all. Uh, but no, like, I went in and I trained well and Vern gave me my, my chance to get capped and I, and I took it and I loved it. I, I loved every minute of it. But no, I'm down here. Down here for a short period just to get game time after like getting come back from a shoulder injury, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm looking to make like not take my foot off the pedal and just keep on starting, playing well for the club when I'm down here, and, and then whenever I go home, I go home and I play well. So realistically, if we're going to get through in the BNI Cup, yep. we're going to have to win tomorrow. Yep. Um, how important is that for our season? Also, the momentum going into the back into the championship on Boxing Day against Ealing. Well, of course, obviously that everybody wants to be winning. Uh, and also to get this win to get us back on top of like in fighting position for the BNI Cup in our group. Uh, and the momentum, if you go in and you win against a side against uh, like Leeds or Yorkshire Carnegie's, they are they are a they are quality outfit. Uh, you can see well, obviously by the highlights last weekend they've, they've got so, some good players, some good attacking. But obviously if we do a number over them. Uh, we, we, we can take a lot from that yep. and know that we can always like still go and uh, like compete at a high level in the top three boys in the championship, top three teams, and also go into Ealing. Ealing uh, aren't doing great in the season as I've been heard, but what I've been told is that they've got a quality outset. Uh, the backs are really good. They've got uh, they can they have they want they got a good team if they want to play well. So. We still need to go in, like we go, we're playing at like the top teams like Bristol, Leeds. We need to go into that game thinking like that, so we can come out with a decent performance and obviously a bonus point win in the championship to get our league back on track. Thanks for joining us.